with so much wilderness and open space, it's no surprise that Montana has an endless number of places to go fishing. They also have a number of places that are set aside kind of for families and young anglers and people that are just not as serious and hardcore as others. One of those places is Greeno Lake. Now we found out about Greeno Lake by calling Montana Fish Parks and Wildlife and we said, hey, we're gonna be in the Billings area. Where's a place we can go and promote for trout fishing for families? And it didn't take the biologist long to mention Greeno Lake. He said, you know what? This is one of those places that we designed for creating opportunities for families, young anglers, first time anglers, and people that just want to see their bobber drop. All right, we're about to have just a little bit of a competition. I'm going to be running some rainbow fire bait off the bottom. There she be. We'll take off the lid. Nice job, Dee Dee. I'm going to go ahead and just not a very, not a very big goop because we're using pretty small hooks and these aren't very large fish. We're just going to shove it in there. Just make sure the hook's covered. And once that hook's covered, you're good to go. And these Using the up. atomic garlic. On atomic garlic firebank. Atomic is crushing them out here. Oh, oh, he just hit Mitch's rainbow again. Almost a double. <sighs> Almost a double. Real nice, pretty rainbow stripe. All right, here goes the chartreuse fire corn. There's the bobber. We're gonna cone in on it, see how long it takes to get a bite. It has been pretty up an instant. Bobber down. Look at that. Action. Come on. Uh oh, I don't know what's going on here, but the dog wants it too. Double. We got a double. There is one trout, and here is the other trout. This one's on atomic garlic fire bait. I think Mitch is. Oh. That's all right, catch and release. And there is a nice little rainbow trout that'll look good on the skillet. Just waited. They've been beating me up and I finally got one. It took a while. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. And then that other real purple one. Is it another bow? Another rainbow? Yeah. yeah. Going crazy. No, let me cut more of that off. And we're jumping. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Double. Double. Oh, oh he gone. Oh, I can be your net boy. Oh, your net boy. Old garlic fireballs. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even in the water for about five seconds at the most. Here's the net at uh, You're good, it. you're good. Bring them on in. Oh, flip them. Might be the ugliest one I've caught. Got him. This lake right here is stocked mostly in May and June with 3,700 eight inch fish. And then again, they stock about 213 inch fish a year and they put a couple fish in, some in September. Now, the biologist told us this is not a drive to lake. It's only a quarter mile hike, but it's a quarter mile hike on a well graded trail that just about anybody could do. There's restrooms at the lake, there's campgrounds nearby, there's picnic areas, and basically he hit a home run when it came to establishing an opportunity for families when it comes to trout fishing. Now, we didn't even get there till Labor Day weekend. This was 2020 and the place was still loaded with trout. Now, we're about 12 miles from Red Lodge. We're at the base of the Beartooth Highway. Everybody knows that you know what? This is one of the prettiest places to drive in all of North America. And not only do people living an hour and a half away in Billings come here, people from all over the West come here for a place to vacation. So you're gonna see locals, you're going to see out-of-towners. This is a place for everybody to enjoy way up here in a well-forested area. Now, don't expect to catch any monsters. Sure, they do put 200 fish in there a year, uh, but most likely you're not going to catch those simply because the smaller fish are so aggressive and opportunistic that you're going to catch those first. Now, this is clear water. You're going to see from some of our drone footage here, it's pretty shallow, but you don't need to cast that far out there to be successful. Now, 
We had a couple of contests going on where the guys went back and forth. One of them used rainbow fire bait. The other one used atomic garlic fire bait. And they both caught fish literally within a few seconds of that dough bait hitting the water. Now, the guys also, they got tired of using a whole jar of fire bait in less than a half hour. And they switched over and put gold garlic salmon eggs, just a single gold garlic egg, or anywhere from one to three or four pieces of chartreuse fire corn on the hook. They dropped it below a bobber and they watched their floats drop all day long. Now, come here with kids, come here by yourself, come here with your family, bring your dog, and guess what? You can catch fish on just about every cast, just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.